not just for pregnant women, but for all Americans. Today starts a new era of very, 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 very big government, very intrusive government. I mean, do you want to start a family or have your first child? Or maybe you have a child or children already, you'd like to have one more? Mazel tov, congratulations, it is a beautiful thing. Everybody with a heart wishes you all the best. In this country, though, now, the decision tree for you is much more complex than it was before. Now, obviously, most wanted pregnancies are safe and straightforward, and they end with the happiest possible news. But sadly, many don't. Because of what the court did today, if, God forbid, you have a miscarriage in your pregnancy, now in some states, that will be more than a personal tragedy. That will be a matter of public record and potentially public investigation. Your miscarriage will be viewed as a potential crime. Are you suspected of having induced that miscarriage? Did the police want to talk to you about some questions they have about whether somebody else might have induced it for you? I mean, how do, how do you plan to prove that it happened on its own in the natural course? How can you prove it? These officers are going to need to speak with you. I mean, think about how that gets enforced. Think about the relationship between American women and the government in this environment. How do authorities know if you've miscarried in the first place? What if somebody heard you were pregnant, or they thought you might be pregnant, and now it seems like you're not? How is that investigation conducted? How is the state government in your state, how are your police locally going to check to see if maybe you had been pregnant and now you're not, and did you just commit a felony? If you seek care at a hospital in the event of a miscarriage, the drug you're most often given as treatment for a miscarriage is the same drug that Republican lawmakers are now trying to treat as an illegal instrument of, of, of abortion in their states. I mean, even if you have just had a miscarriage naturally in the natural course of events, you will likely be treated for that miscarriage with medication they are targeting with their abortion bans. Your use of that drug may make you a criminal suspect and make the exact scene and circumstance of your marriage, your, your miscarriage, a crime scene, even if it was in the hospital. In some states, even if the complication in your pregnancy is a risk to your health, if continuing to carry the pregnancy could injure you, doctors in some states will be forced to stand by and deliberately inflict that risk on you by forcing you to keep the pregnancy going against your will because otherwise they will face jail. What does that do in the relationship between you and your doctor? What does that do again to the relationship between you as an American woman and your government? If you have the kind of complication in your pregnancy where the pregnancy is not viable, where the baby cannot live, in some states, you may now be forced by the state government under threat of criminal prosecution to nevertheless carry the non-viable pregnancy to term. Think about how that gets enforced. Think about what that means about the relationship between you as an American citizen and your government that is forcing that out of you. Today starts an era of very, very, very big government, where it's the government that decides if you're going to have a baby or not, where it's the government that is in charge of your pregnancy. For women who have an unwanted, unplanned pregnancy, the nightmare is here. In many ways, though, it is also here now for any woman who wants a child, who wants to have a baby, and now. I mean, until today, this was an area of life in which we had some privacy to make our own decisions. Now, at least for now, in Republican-controlled states, it's the police. It's the state. Knock, knock.